I'm Uni Ambassador Julian Guy, but you may know me as Pizza is Lovely. Today we'll be making Franco Pepe's iconic mistaken margarita. Pizza fans from all over the world flock to Pepe Ingrani Pizzeria every year to eat this beautifully presented and utterly delicious take on a classic margarita. To make this pizza you'll need one bunch of basil, about 10 grams, 150 millilitres of mild extra virgin olive oil, plus a little extra for drizzling, one ice cube, some fine sea salt, 85 to 90 grams of buffalo mozzarella or fior de lat torn into strips, a 250 gram pizza dough ball, 80 grams of top quality passata, and two squeeze bottles. Start by preparing a basil and olive oil pesto. Carefully wash the basil in cold water then shake the excess off. Pick the leaves, transfer them onto a clean tea cloth and pat them dry. Measure out 150 millilitres of olive oil into your blender, add the basil leaves and ice cube, then process into a bright green basil oil. Add the oil to a bowl and season with sea salt to taste. Use a funnel to fill a squeeze bottle and set aside. Fill the second squeeze bottle with the passata. Make sure to use the best quality you can here. This pizza is about simplicity and is only as good as the quality of your ingredients. Now we have our prep work done, it's time to cook the pizza. Preheat your uni to around 400 to 450 degrees C. For the pizza dough, we're using a medium 12% protein 00 flour, fresh yeast and a small amount of sourdough culture for flavour. The dough is around 63% hydration and it's had 24 hours of room temperature fermentation in total. The dough ball weight is 250 grams. Transfer the dough to a floured surface and coat the dough completely with flour to prevent sticking. I'm using fine semolina flour to really help the pizza slide off the peel. Open your dough, taking care not to push the air out of the crust. Once the pizza is at about 8 inches in diameter, begin stretching it out to a 12 inch size, using the backs of your hands and focusing just behind the crust line. Now our pizza is ready to top. Take the mozzarella and scatter it evenly over the surface. Drizzle about one tablespoon of olive oil over the cheese and then carefully slide the pizza onto a 12 inch peel that's been lightly dusted with semolina flour. Let's cook! Launch the pizza into the centre of your uni and let it set for about 25-30 seconds. As soon as you can see the nearest side to you begin to lift from the pizza stone, it's time to turn. Keep the pizza turning as it cooks to avoid any scorched areas and after 80 to 90 seconds you should have a beautifully baked pizza. Transfer the pizza onto your serving board and now it's time to add the finishing touches. First we add the passata, which is at room temperature. Think of the pizza as four quarter slices and carefully place two or three vertical lines of passata evenly on the bottom right quarter. Now turn the pizza 90 degrees clockwise and repeat until you have neat lines in each quarter. Now shake the basil oil bottle with the lid on and then from a slight height allow drops of the oil to fall in an unfussy way over the cheese surface. The Mistaken Margarita is a modern classic, stylish, beautiful and utterly delicious. Thanks for watching. You can find me, Julian Guy, at Pizza Is Lovely on Instagram. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button below for more amazing recipes from Uni Pizza Ovens. Until next time.